Turn it up. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to make something look a little better in this car. Have you seen in previous videos, this car has sat outside for years without being run or used. So a lot of stuff in this car is pretty worn out. And that includes a little cover here that goes over the gauges. It's got a lot of uh, cracks and fades and the paint's coming off. It doesn't look good. So what we're going to do today is take it off and clean it up. But first I have to apologize to in my garage is not finished so you can hear the wind and those are little little acorns falling off trees hitting the garage so sorry about the noise if you want to you can count how many times it hits and let me know in the comment so first thing you want to do to get this off is remove the cover around the steering column I've already removed this one and it has four four little Phillips head screws just take a screwdriver, pull that off, and it should pop right out the bottom. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the top part. should be able to just grab it. Like, there we go. Pull it right out. So the surround here has two Phillips head screws through the bottom up here. You'll pull those out. And then there's clips along the front. So you'll just take it out and pull forward, or pull towards you. And it will click and pull out. Let's see if we can get this thing out without breaking anything. There we go. And it's just like that. So I'm gonna stop the camera and we'll go to the next process. Okay, so the next step on this thing is it's out of the car. You get some sandpaper, I got 800 grit here, and you'll just knock down any rough parts. You want it to feel nice and smooth, that way when the paint's on there, there's no rough spots. So this one feels a little rough here, and you'll just go back and forth so it feels, feels nice and smooth. Might take you a while, but it's worth it at the end. So I'm gonna sand this whole thing down, you can see I hit it a little bit, but it looks pretty rough. So I'm going to sand the whole thing down. I'll come back when it's done sanded. Or done and sanded. There you go. Okay. Done sanding. Doesn't look like it. You can see it looked pretty rough. Or it still does look pretty rough. But I've sanded it pretty smooth now with what I've got. So it's pretty smooth now and will take paint pretty well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to spray it. What am I used for that is spray paint. <laughs> Just uh, don't get gloss. It, it won't look right. You want it to look like it's original. If you have like a gloss finish, unless you have it professionally painted in a shop, it's going to look bad. <laughs> so just a satin flat black paint because that's how it looked from the factory it looked like an original flat black finish so that's what you want to go for so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with paint real quick but I mean you literally just take your paint and go back and forth give it a nice couple of light coats you don't want it to run so don't make it heavy at first and you should come out with something well, I'll show you in just a second So, here's the finished product. Looks way better than it used to. There's not all those different colors on it like it was before. So, we're pretty good. So, I'm gonna stick it back in the car. I'm not gonna show you that part. I'll just show you once it's in. Because you saw me take it out. So, it's basically the reverse of how you took it out. Pop it back in, click it in place. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so. I'm going to cut this off and I'll show you after it's all done. So, there it is, back in the car. It's not perfect, but, let's see, 
that is way, way better than it was previous. Oh, there's a little dirt there. Ignore that. Yep, it's way better than it used to be. And all that took was a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and some sandpaper and some paint. The paint I used had paint and primer all in one, so if you don't want to do that, just prime it and sand it and then paint it. But there you go. So if your cluster cover looks awful, of course my whole car looks awful. <laughs> But that's one little thing, one thing at a time. And that's one. Next, we're gonna move on to that shifter bushing, but that's another video. So, but until then, well, thank you for watching the video. If it helped you, that's great. So just another thing in the end, I haven't really talked to everyone personally I would love to hear your comments, talk to you back and forth, you know, get conversations going. I love talking to you people. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try, try my best to get back on track of making a video per once a week at least. So I've got tons of projects coming up. I've just been really busy with work and frankly the the weather here in Tennessee has been really bad. We've had the worst rain in a hundred years here. A lot of stuff has been flooded. So it's, it's been hard to do a lot. But in the end, the little project is coming along one thing at a time. So till next time, thanks for watching.